Right, this is first grade, module four, lesson seven. And in, in this lesson, students are gonna be comparing two quantities. The idea is, uh, if just because one student has five coins and another student has four coins, let's say, so there's our numbers here, uh, that doesn't mean that the student with the five coins has more money than the student with the four coins. And so this lesson is really going to be helping students understand place value, connect that place value to quantity, and then using that understanding, they're gonna be able to know which number is greater or lesser than the other. All right, let's get started on this. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. We have a set of objects right here, and you see that we've got four things, one, two, three, four, Whereas over here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five objects. And so you might think, hey, five objects is greater than four objects. But we need to kind of look at the place value as well. So when we look over here, we see 10 and 10, plus we have two ones. So we know that this is 22. Meanwhile, over here, we've got 10 flowers and we've got four flowers. So our number is 14. In the say 10 method, it would be 110 and four ones. Over here, the say 10 method would be two tens and two ones. Now, what's our statement? Which one is the greater pair? Well, we're gonna circle, I'm gonna circle down here because I've already kind of circled a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna circle the 22 saying that 22 is greater then 14. Same concept over here, so I'm going to skip that. Parents and teachers, here's another example where we want to contrast the concept of um, just the number of coins versus the value or the quantity uh, the, that those coins represent. Uh, so here we've got two dimes, but what does that represent? Well, that represents 20 cents. Meanwhile, over here we have two coins, but it's a, co a, a dime and a penny, so we have 11 cents. So the idea would be another representation of this 20 cents, if we wanted to go 20 cents and 11 cents. Another way we could say this is we could say it's 20 pennies, or in an early lesson we would have called this 20 ones, Meanwhile, over here, this is 11 pennies, or we might think of this as 11 ones, and since we have common units, so 20 is greater than 11. So the idea is, which one's greater? And we're gonna say, this is greater. Here's where reading becomes kind of tricky. Now it's, we're supposed to circle the, the set that has the less, that is less, in each pair. So we're gonna begin over here. We've got three bundles. So that's three bundles of 10 plus a single, a unit here. So that has the value of 31. And at this point, I think our first graders will be able to look at this and immediately jump straight to the value, the number name. So we've got two sets of 10 plus four ones. So we want kids to be able to say, oh, that's 24. Keeping in our reading comprehension that we want to circle the number that is less, we're gonna circle, in this case, we're gonna circle the 24 because two tens is less than three tens and automatically that makes this number less than this number. I want to call out over here, this is the quick tens. I love the quick tens, and this is a super important uh, way to notate numbers, especially later when our students begin to add numbers in the teens. So these are the quick tens, really kind of cool. And our last slide for this video is we're supposed to, again, circle the number that is less for each pair, and here we're really going abstract here. So the idea is we've got two tens and seven ones, so we want to think of that as 27. Here we've got three tens and seven ones, and what's, which number is less? We want the 27. 
And over here, the thing I want to call out to your attention is for the first time, we have a tie when it comes to our tens place. Because this is two tens and two ones. And this is two tens. And this is nine ones. So which one is less? Well, they have the same number of tens. It's the ones place that is the, the tiebreaker, so to speak. So 22 is less than 29. So that's a tricky one, perhaps for our first graders. And that wraps up first grade, module four, lesson seven, comparing quantities. And we are circling or uh, the greater number or circling the lesser of the two numbers that are given.